Hello, enthusiasts, and welcome back to another episode. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of fungal technology and cannabis cultivation. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how fungal respiration works, how it supports photosynthesis, and why more growers are turning to this natural method to boost results indoors. Before we jump in, I want to give a big thank you to the Exhale Homegrown CO2 Company for sponsoring this episode. Exhale has been a trusted name in natural CO2 solutions for over 20 years. Their ready-to-use bags feature a patented strain of CO2-producing fungi that delivers a steady release for up to six months. No tanks, no timers, and no electricity. Just clean, consistent CO2. If you're interested in Exhale's products, be sure to check the video description below for exclusive promo codes and more information about their company. Also make sure to stick around because later in this video we'll be sharing how you can enter for a chance to win a free Exhale CO2 bag. But first, and as always, please remember, this is an educational video and all information provided is for educational purposes only. Now, let's dive in. Chapter 1 what is fungal technology? Picture this. Deep in the forest, fallen logs and dead leaves are broken down by fungi, ultimately releasing carbon dioxide back into the environment as part of a natural closed loop system. It's quiet, powerful, and always working in the background. Now imagine bringing that same biological engine into the grow room. Instead of logs and leaf litter, we're working with colonized substrates and the respiration of living fungi. Fungal technology refers to the intentional use of fungi in controlled environments to enhance plant growth. When fungi decompose organic material, they consume oxygen and release carbon dioxide. This natural respiration becomes especially valuable in indoor growing spaces, where CO2 levels can easily fall below optimal thresholds. And for cannabis, that matters a lot as carbon dioxide is one of the three pillars of photosynthesis. Without enough CO2, cannabis plants can't convert light into energy efficiently. As a result, plant growth will slow, buds will stay light, and yields will suffer. Chapter 2. Why should growers care about fungal technology? So why might growers of all levels, from tent hobbyists to commercial producers, want to give fungal technology a try. First, it's remarkably cost-effective. Unlike traditional CO2 systems that require tanks, regulators, solenoids, and electrical setups, fungal systems operate entirely on biology. Once the fungi are introduced to a suitable substrate, they begin the decomposition process and release carbon dioxide on their own. No expensive equipment, no complex installations, and no electricity bills tied to CO2 delivery. Second, it's sustainable in the truest sense of the word. Fungal CO2 is produced through natural decomposition, which is the same process that occurs in forest floors and compost piles. By using fungi to recycle organic waste into a usable gas, growers are participating in a closed-loop system that relies on renewable resources. Third, it's incredibly low maintenance. Once the fungal system is colonized and active, it runs almost completely on autopilot. There's no need to monitor gauges, refill tanks, or worry about precise timing. As long as the fungi have oxygen, moisture, and carbon-rich material to feed on, they'll continue to produce CO2 steadily and predictably over weeks or even months. The last but perhaps most important reason why growers should consider fungal CO2 is because it works. The results are not abstract or hypothetical, they're observable. Growers consistently report thicker stems, wider fan leaves, faster vegetative growth, and significantly denser buds during the flowering phase. Fungal CO2 can give cannabis plants the kind of lush, aggressive vitality that's usually only seen in high-performance commercial setups. Chapter 3. Saprophytic Fungi Saprophytic fungi specialize in breaking down tough, carbon-rich organic materials found in dead plants, wood, and leaves that most microbes struggle to digest. Saprophytes have powerful enzymes like cellulases, lignanases, and xylanases that allow them to tear through this material with remarkable efficiency. 
This makes them efficient CO2 generators because the more material they break down, the more carbon they respire. They're also long-lasting. Saprophytes can remain active for weeks or even months, releasing CO2 gradually and consistently over time. In addition, saprophytes don't rely on living roots or plant symbiosis, so you can grow them independently in bins or blocks. Oyster mushrooms, turkey tail, and certain white rot fungi are prime examples of saprophytic fungi. These species colonize quickly, digest thoroughly, and can thrive in a wide range of indoor conditions, making them ideal for cannabis growers looking to add fungal respiration to their grow environment. Now that we've covered some background on today's topic, let's take a closer look at one of the most practical and reliable ways to introduce natural carbon dioxide into your grow, the Exhale Homegrown CO2 Bag. For over 20 years, Exhale has taken the science of fungal respiration and turned it into a clean, controlled, and highly effective solution for indoor gardening. Each bag is thoughtfully designed to meet the needs of real-world growers, from small home tents to fully sealed commercial rooms. It's a true plug-and-play system. Just hang the bag above your canopy and the fun guy inside get to work, producing a steady stream of CO2. This is possible because inside each bag is a proprietary substrate that serves as the fungi's food source, along with a patented, non-fruiting mycelium strain developed specifically for steady, reliable respiration. What really sets Exhale apart is that they were the first to bring the CO2 bag concept to market. While plenty of imitators have followed, none match Exhale's consistency or quality. That's why every product carries the original CO2 bag seal, so when you see that label, you know you're getting proven performance. And here's something special for our community. Exhale is giving one lucky viewer a chance to win a free Exhale CO2 bag. This model delivers a steady 1300 ppm of CO2 for up to six months and is rated for grow spaces up to four by four feet or 120 cubic feet. For full giveaway details, go to the video summary or visit our website. While you're there, check out our promo codes from Exhale. It's a great way to save if you're ready to give it a try. Now let's get back to today's topic. Chapter 4. How does CO2 affect cannabis plants? When a cannabis plant absorbs CO2 through its stomata, which are those tiny pores on the leaves, it uses that carbon to create sugars through a process called photosynthesis. Those sugars then become the building blocks for leaf and stem expansion, flower formation, resin production, and root system growth. Studies have shown that when CO2 levels are increased from ambient levels of around 400 parts per million to enriched levels between 800 and 1200 ppm, plants can experience biomass increases of 20 to 30 percent or more. And that translates directly into more yield per plant without the need to change lighting schedules, increase nutrients, or adding any extra time and labor. It's one of the rare ways in life to get more from something with almost no added complexity. In 2006, the Journal of Experimental Botany published a landmark study that explored the effects of elevated CO2 on plant growth. Their research found that increased atmospheric CO2 significantly enhanced carbon assimilation and biomass accumulation particularly in fast-growing species exposed to highly lit environments. These findings support the idea that when cannabis plants are given both sufficient light and additional CO2, their physiological capacity to grow is greatly amplified. Similarly, in 2014, the journal Plant, Cell, and Environment observed that cannabis plants grown under enriched CO2 conditions exhibited significantly greater dry weight, expanded leaf area, and accelerated development, particularly during the vegetative phase. These studies help validate what experienced growers already know. When you boost CO2, especially in a dialed-in environment, the results speak for themselves. And the best part is that because fun guy release CO2 gradually and naturally, they avoid the spikes and dips that can stress plants when using artificial injection systems. So whether you're a seasoned grower optimizing every square foot or a beginner just trying something new, one thing is clear. Carbon dioxide and fungal technology can play a major role in maximizing the cannabis plant's potential. 
and fungal-based CO2 offers a sustainable, low-maintenance and cost-effective way to introduce that boost naturally into a grow. We've covered a lot today, from the science of fungal respiration to its historical roots, practical application and even commercial innovations like the Exhale CO2 bag. If you've used fungal CO2 before or have questions about how to set it up, drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and tap that notification bell so you don't miss what's coming next. And if you'd like to take it a step further, consider becoming a Cannabis Guy channel member. Your support helps me continue bringing you in-depth content covering everything about cannabis, from grow science to strain history and beyond. Members get exclusive perks like access to giveaways and exclusive discounts, recognition in the end credits of an upcoming video, a member badge, and much, much more. It's a great way to support the work I do while getting even more out of the community we're building together. Thanks again for watching, and always remember to stay curious, my friends.